Hey everybody, Scott Burnett here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well today. So I haven't made a video in a while. Um, heart hadn't been in it. Uh, my mind hadn't been in it. Way of the world, my job, everything else. I just uh, not been in it, but thought I'd make one today. Uh, just celebrated my 57th birthday and my wife got me a present. She got me some bone conduction headphones. So a lot of you don't know that I took up running as a hobby for the last, what, nine, 10 months now. I've been running uh, several miles a week and running 5K road races. And a lot of the people I see running are using these instead of say, um, normal earbuds. These things will go on the outside of your ears and um, not get in them so you can hear what's going on around you but it, they don't get all gunked up with sweat and everything else that you got going on so uh she asked me if i want to set up and i said sure i would never heard of shocks so if we look at the website let me switch over to the website and show you what come on they have several models of these things they have a usb USB-C connectivity, they have for swimming, they have them with microphones, they have little small ones to go around your ears, they have user guides. So what we're gonna do, these are the lower end shocks. They had them that go all the way up to three, four hundred dollars, it looks like. These were, and this is August 2024, these were $79 at Sam's Club. So let's do an unboxing enough talking all right let's see if we can get in the box here yeah a lot of the guys that i see running are wearing these things a lot of men and women wearing these while they're running uh I like being able to hear what's going on so inside the box we have the headset itself and uh these are the parts that go around your in front of your ears and then this would be all the battery and electronics. It's got a charging port and uh, volume up and down. See that? It does have an odd charging port, which I don't like that kind of stuff where it has pr proprietary cables. Let's see, it's got a little little box with stuff okay it's got a bag with drawstrings and in the little box here well they just threw it in there I, the packaging is not all that great um it's got a user guide with uh, regulatory stuff Got a user guide. This would be a quick start guide, I bet. Yeah. So it's got a quick start guide with the pairing information. Not very much there. From what I read from the website, you really need to go to the website and um, look at it. Okay, here's the charging cable. And it's got USB A, which is odd. And I don't know what that connector is. I hope you don't have to plug it up. I'd... Oh, it's magnetic. Okay. So it's magnetic. So that's that's a plus, but I don't... It's one of those things that is not standard, so if, if it breaks, you break the cable or something, it has to go back to the manufacturer. So, okay. What else we got in here? In the card... Got a warranty card. Your product is under a two-year warranty for customer support. Um, so I'll probably have to go online and register that guy. Yep. Okay. So we'll pull up the um, user guide. Let me grab my phone. Let's look at this real quick. So we do have a button 
on here that say that I looked at the manual that's for taking phone calls and uh, changing to the next song pausing your music or whatever uh, microphone is on the other side right there uh, the indicator where would the indicator be probably right here on the side so let me grab my phone and we will see if we can get this sucker paired up hang on a minute okay so i got my iphone here the android be pretty much similar just adding a bluetooth device i'm gonna go to settings i'm in my bluetooth okay so you have to hold the volume plus button let me hold it right there okay it turned on It's doing that, it's blinking red to blue. Go here, open run by shocks. Okay, my volume just changed, and here is the open run by shocks. Tell device type, and we'll go headphone. Connected. Okay. So that was very painless. Um, now, one thing I did read in the manual, when you plug the charger up, it turns it off. So you don't have to worry about that. It's supposed to have eight hours battery life. It's supposed to have uh, premium pitch, two plus O sound, which I don't know what that means. Uh, it's IP67 waterproof, which means you can't dunk it, but it can get wet. Uh, one thing I read, you don't want to get water in the microphone hole. Uh, to clean these, you just take a dry soft cloth and wipe them down. You don't spray any cleaners or liquids on them. I will link all the website information in the description. Let's turn some music on just for a second. so they do play pretty comfortable so they, they ride on this bone right here and I guess on the back behind your ear they're supposed to ride back here they don't weigh on your ears. They sound really good. I would put those up against the AirPods or the or the Raycon everyday earbuds. Now, one thing, my ears being 57, being around machinery and guns and everything that's on my life, my, my hearing is not the greatest in the world. The audiologist told me that. So so yeah, that uh, sounds good. All right, tell you what, real quick, let's look at the user guide on the website. Uh, it gives you a whole lot more information than the little paper guide does in the box. So open run user guide, and always make sure you get the right one because there's an open run and an open run USB. So a little bit of difference there. Let's scroll down to, it shows um, all the controls charging port buttons shows you how to pair which I, I showed you how to pair it uh, how to wear it pick up the headphones bring them behind the base of your neck put them on your ears done very simple volume controls operate volume controls while audio is playing you can sit there and hit the buttons all you want to with nothing playing it won't do anything uh, a beep will sound when volumes at its max Multifunction button, you can uh, click once, twice, or three times for uh, play and pause the music, next song, and previous song. You can answer calls and end calls just clicking once. I want to try that out. They give you a table 
of all the stuff you can do. Uh, checking the battery status. Um, you can pause the music and click the volume buttons and Audrey, the voice assistant, will tell you the battery status. You know, high or low or charge me. Um, extra features, you have an EQ mode, standard mode for listening to music, a vocal booster mode for audiobooks and uh, podcasts. Uh, switching EQ modes, operate control while music is playing. Uh, press and hold both buttons and you'll hear a beep and Audrey will tell you if it's changed. One of the things I like about this on the everyday earbuds, you can only pair to one device. This one you can multi-pair. So you can have it to your phone and say your laptop. Uh, pair two devices called multi-point pairing. You can turn that on or off, and Audrey will tell you. It shows how to do it here in the instructions. Uh, let's see what else. You can restore the factory settings. Anything you've changed on it, you just put it right back. You can change the languages. You can do Chinese, English, Japanese, or Korean. Anything else? You're on your own. And it shows how to care and maintain. Uh, one thing about it, if you get the charging port wet, if you try to plug your cable up, it will flash red and blue. It has a um, moisture um, detection alert. And then the warranty, you need to go and register that just in case something does happen to them. So yeah, that is the website, or the user guide on the website. Here's the United States. Want a free pair of open, well, yeah, I'll do that here in a little bit. There's the technology. So you can learn more about open ear or bone pitch technology. Okay. So yeah, they do have, I'll put all this information in the description. Yeah, they, you can shop there. They got a lot of celebrities and YouTubers that um, promote it. There it is, there's a... Okay. I will read that as well. So I tell you what, let's go uh, I'm going to go for a run, probably go on a treadmill or through the neighborhood, I don't know. Let's go for a run, see how they do. I'll get my GoPro and uh, do that, and we'll be right back. All right, we're going to do about two miles out through the neighborhood and stuff, so I'm going to make sure I'm all connected and everything. So everything's playing. Sound really good. So I got on my Brooks Ghost 15, part of my shoe rotation. Stretched out, let's go. All right, so far, very comfortable. They don't bounce. And I can hear everything around me. Let's go on. Nothing like living out here. Ran six miles yesterday. I don't know why I'm doing this today. All right, one mile in. 
sound great. I can hear cars and animals and stuff, especially cars. Where I live, you gotta be careful with that. So, the sweat's not bothering them, although I'm not kicking in a good sweat yet. But they sound great. So, I can just imagine the higher end ones even sound better, so. Let's push a mile back to the house. All right, just pause the music. That's two miles. It gives me an even 15 for the week. Ooh. Started getting hot too. Anyway, sounded great. Even with me breathing hard, sweating, doing great. I can hear the cars roaring up behind me. So, anyway, I recommend these if you're working out, running, whatever, swimming, not so much. But, anyway, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell to be notified. And hope everybody's doing great. You're having a good day. And like I always say, until the next video, let's get a Gatorade. Thanks for watching.